there's a lot of weird stuff that happens up on those mountains. There are loads of, like, UFO sightings. I'm saying maybe. Or could it be an alien? <gasps> this could all actually be tied back into the Brown Mountain Lights. It could be. Ooh. It makes more sense. I'm I mean, logically, that. it would make more sense. There's an alien walking around going... Blah, 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 blah. See, we're not... I'm not... I've lost my spaceship. You're like, come with me and I'll show you a spaceship. Bang, you're dead. <gasps> Back of the car. He just wanted to know where its mom was. <sighs> Don't say that. Now ba- hitchhiking this. baby alien. Mm, that was an alien too. I, yeah, mm. I, I like the idea that it's connected because you get paranormal areas like the Bennington Triangle. It's a paranormal area. Loads of weird stuff. The world doesn't make sense. Everything's strange. I like the idea of that. Maybe it's all connected. Maybe what we've got here is the ghost of a dead alien. Ooh, so now, it's a, like now how, it's a ghost, a baby, a hitchhiker, and an really alien. What I really appreciate about Matthew right now is how he's taking all of our ideas in, in the true f- form of compromise. In the true sense of compromise, bringing them all together into one theory. The ghost of a dead alien, Paula. Trying to hitchhike. Hitchhike. He just wants to get to the next good view on the Blue Ridge Parkway. He just wants 